So now I'm going to be pressing the comic. So let's see. You can see that there's a bit of a bend up here. And the back, hopefully I'm going to be able to get all of that out. And then there's a little bend like right here. And then just all these small nicks on this side. And yeah, so pretty much what I do is I get a board and put it into the center of the book. Close it, make sure it's all the way to the end edge of the book. And then these are just papers that CGC leaves in the book, so you just have to take that. And now I put it in between this parchment paper. And then put it into the center of the press, like that. And then mine's, my heat is up to 66, so this is still warming up. And I press it for maybe like 30 seconds and then I turn it off. And then I pretty much just leave it in there for 24 hours. And then I take it out and then I flip it and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're pretty much about to clamp it down. Everything's set. And this is just one of my wife's old t-shirt presses that I'm using so it, we got it for free so I was very fortunate with that but yeah so instead of t-shirt pressing I just use it for comic pressing now and yeah it's gonna beep any second now and there you go there's the beep that just means that it's been 30 seconds. I leave it in there for a few extra seconds just so the heat goes to the bottom as well. Some people like to put a piece of aluminum or copper sheet to the bottom of the thing, but that's a good idea. But I just don't have the tools for that. So, and now I just turned it off. I don't know. I just like to unplug it just in case. Just turn off the whole thing and then pretty much I just shove it into the back and then that's it so I just took it out of the press it's looking pretty good now I'm just gonna put it back in to do the flip side and hopefully I'm able to get these out but other than that, that's looking a lot cleaner. Same with the bottom. Well, hopefully this time I'm gonna be able to get the sides up. So I just took it out of the press and look how nicely the edges came back. Especially like this top area. And yeah, pretty much that's it. So before I actually bag and board this properly, I like to put it into the press one last time. Just for like an hour or whatever. And then I'm getting, going to bag and board it and then ship it off. Just so it's nice and crisp. So thanks for watching and I'll be doing the packaging later today.